Hello my lovely and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you four simple and easy self-care practices that you can be doing at home if you're going through a hard time and you're feeling drained and stressed out and anxious. These are simple things that you can do to feel better, to regain a little bit of your energy to keep going. If you're ready, let's get started. So before we get started, I just wanted to mention that this video is going to, be, going to be a lot more simple than my usual videos. There's not going to be any additional footage or anything. It's just going to be me sitting down having it to heart to heart with you. I do this on my Instagram as well and on my TikTok where I do co daily coffee thoughts where I just share some day-to-day -day experiences, um, what I'm learning along the way on my personal growth journey because often when I share these things with you, with my audience, that's what resonates the most with you. And I share a lot of these things, especially on my mailing list. And I get so many posit so much positive feedback from you guys that I thought I would just make a YouTube video as well to share with you some of the things that I've been doing to practice self-care. Now, if you're on my mailing list, then you know this, but just to give you a quick summary, the last two, three weeks of my life have been ridiculously crazy. I've been going through so many changes. My grandfather passing away, signing legal separation papers, trying to figure out where I'm living. It's just been a lot. And even today, to be honest with you, I am just in a very simple outfit. I'm barely wearing any makeup because I wanted to keep it real with you guys so that you know that everyone goes through a hard time and it's about the little intentional and meaningful habits and practices that that you do on a daily basis that will keep you going and even though it has been hard and even though I'm emotionally very drained these are the small things that I've been doing on a consistent basis that I that have helped me push through and get through it and still have some energy left to sit here and do a YouTube video for you to share my experiences. So I really hope that these self-care practices will help you whether you're going through a hard time or not. These are really important self-care practices that you should be doing on a regular basis anyway to help you have more emotional and physical energy, to help you stay motivated, to help you clear your mind, to help you feel more inspired and motivated to just keep going because guess what everyone goes through challenges and life will always throw you a curveball whether you expect it or not and it's about these basic habits that you have in your day-to-day -day life that will help you keep going so I want you to incorporate these habits on a regular basis whether you're going through a hard time or not so that's my little spiel my little intro little background on what's been going on and why I'm doing this video I really hope that this resonates with you and that it helps you feel a little bit better and give yourself a little bit more energy and a little bit of love and self-love and self-care through these small practices so Let's jump into the four self-care practices that you should be doing, especially if you're going through a hard time. So the first self-care practice that I want you to be doing on a regular basis, but especially if you're going through a hard time, and I know that this is a time where probably you want to put this to the wayside, but this is a time where you have to, have to, have to continue working out and moving your body. Why? Because moving your body will help with releasing endorphins, it will get more oxygen to your brain, into your heart, into your body, which will make you feel better. It will... It will make you feel more energized, it will make you feel more confident, it will give you the energy that you need and I know that might seem counterproductive but if you exercise it actually is giving you more energy because if you sit on the couch and just eat your brains out then, then you will just feel lethargic. So the first thing that I want you to be doing is to find ways to incorporate movement, movement of your body in your day to day schedule especially if you're going through a hard time this is what's going to help you keep going, manage your stress, manage your anxiety, manage your emotions, manage your mind and manage everything I have to say that working out has been the one thing that I've sustained since last year since going through a hard time going through separation going through a whole bunch of shit and it's the best thing that I've ever done I had a day where I worked out three times okay I know it's a little bit exaggerated a little bit much but that's just how how good it makes me feel so Keep in mind that if you don't exercise on a regular basis, it's okay, start small. When I say move your body, I mean doing yoga, I mean going for a 30 minute walk outside, I mean doing an actual workout routine, finding a video on YouTube. There's so many things that you can be find, finding for free on YouTube. Doing a small Pilates exercise in your bedroom. You know what, actually something that I've been doing is to dance. I put on music and I've just been dancing in my room because I'm just moving my body and it just helps me get out of my head. So if you are going through a hard time, if you're stressed out or if you're anxious, and or if you just want to feel better and if you want to have more emotional and physical energy, I want you to consistently move your body every single day, make it a challenge to move at least 30 minutes, whether it's an intense workout or just going outside, move your body. 
The second self-care practice that I want you to be doing, especially if you're going through a hard time, is to constantly feed your mind, but in a constructive and meaningful way. What do I mean? I mean listening to inspiring podcasts, I mean reading a book, I mean look, watching a documentaries on Netflix or on YouTube or online or whatever. I mean doing something creative, picking up a new hobby. Whatever you're doing, especially if you're going through a hard time, your mind is so busy and so exhausted and your brain is constantly working that you need to find a way to give it a break. I know that I really need to do that. And by reading or doing something to distract your mind but in an in a intentional and meaningful way, you are giving your brain a break. And what does that do? Instead of you over worrying and constantly focusing on the problem at hand and oftentimes we just keep on festering and thinking about the same thing over and over again, it actually doesn't help because sometimes we just don't have a solution and thinking about the same thing over and over again will just cause more anxiety. So by distracting your mind, you're giving your brain a break. You're giving yourself more space to be able to breathe. And in the long run, you will have more mental space to actually be able to tackle the problem when the time comes. So I want you to not only consistently in your life, always make sure to take a mental break, but especially if you're going through a hard time, make sure to be very intentional with how you spend your time. If you need to give yourself a mental break by watching a TV show and binge watching something, that is okay. That is what I did yesterday and I'm totally okay with it. But as long as you're intentional about it, as long as you're not numbing yourself and as long as you're being balanced that you're not just distracting yourself and not processing what you need to process, you have to be very intentional with how you're spending your time and how you're spending your energy to be able to really give your mind a break. So that might look very different for depending on your lifestyle, but it might be doing a balance of things like exercising, then take, doing a little paper session for yourself, and then having a quiet movement at home. It can be something, for example, which is something I'm planning on doing tonight, just so you know, but be intentional with how you spend your time and give your mind a break. That way, if you're going through a hard time, you're taking care of yourself physically and emotionally and you're giving your mind a break. The fourth and last simple self-care practice that I want you to be doing is to do things mindfully. Now again, it goes back to the, all the previous points, but it, as you can see, they're all inter interrelated. But when you are going through a hard time, when you're stressed out and anxious, you're very much in your thoughts and you're just ruminating and keeping busy. It just feels like you're in a hamster wheel and you just keep on going. What I want you to be doing is to always make sure to give yourself the mental space to just breathe. What does that look like? That means doing the dishes in the quiet and try to do it almost in a meditative state. Allow yourself the space to be able to folk, to pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to your emotions, and pay attention to how you're feeling physically. Because when you're able to do things mindfully, for example, doing folding your laundry or whatever, doing it in a silent space, then you're allowing yourself a little bit of time and more space to just be with yourself, even if you have to get chores done and errands done. At least you're not busy in your mind with other things by listening to music, listening to podcasts, or scrolling on Instagram, or whatever that might look like. So by doing things mindfully, you're giving yourself more space and you're wasting less energy on tearing yourself between five things at the same time. You're just focusing on one task at hand to allow yourself a bit of breather. And you have to keep in mind when you are giving yourself the space to just be and to listen to your thoughts and your emotion, emotions, don't be scared of them. I know it can be sometimes scary to sit in your thoughts and sit in your emotions, but there's nothing to be afraid of because what I've realized is that those emotions will not kill you. As scary as they might be, they're actually a gift because they are signs of what you need to focus on, what you need to change, and what you need to improve in your life. So the less you resist your thoughts and your emotions, the less hard it will be. So by doing things mindfully and paying attention to your, to your thoughts and your emotions, you're giving yourself the space for your thoughts and your emotions to come out, to observe them, to not, ju to not judge them and to not fight them, but you're allowing them to come through and then you can release them a lot more easily. And that is one of the ways that you process your emotions to be able to let go and move on. So do things mindfully, try to give yourself the space to just be, sit with your thoughts, sit with your emotions, don't be scared of them. Do things in a very mindful way Go for a walk and just enjoy nature. Don't listen to podcasts or music or anything else. Do your dishes, your laundry, your vacuuming, do your chores in silence and just pay attention to what's going on in the chatter in your head. And you know, especially if you're going through a hard time, there's always a lot going on, but if you're doing it in a mindful way, then it will become a lot easier to process and to get through and to give yourself the space to 
go through the motions and go through the thoughts and whatever you need to feel so that you can eventually let it go and move on and feel better. I hope that one of these resonated with you. If you want to learn more self-care practices but a bit more tangible things that you can be doing, make sure to check out my other video about self-care practices that you can be doing at home to take care of yourself and to feel happier. I will leave the link in the description box for you. In the meantime, I want you to do two things. First thing I want you to do is if you're going through a hard time, I want you to pick out one of the habits that I mentioned, one of the practices that I mentioned in this video and to start incorporating it right now. Right now, I want you to decide which one of the four you're going to be doing. Is it going to be move your body, feed your mind, spend your time intentionally, or do things mindfully? One of the four. You have to do it right now and start doing it every single day and notice how you feel. That is the first thing I want you to be doing. The second thing that I want you to be doing is to share a comment in comment below with everyone because there is a lot of power in sharing your story and sharing your experiences. I want to know when you go through a hard time, what do you do to take care of yourself? What do you do to practice self-care, especially if you're going through a hard time? Or if you're not, then great for you. What is a self-care practice, a daily self-care practice that you do to feel better? I want to also learn more and I want to hear from you and see what you do. That way I can improve my process and what I do on a daily, daily basis. And without further, well not without further ado, what am I saying? That's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I like to share videos to help you create a more meaningful and inspired life by sharing you tips and strategies on how to do that and how to set and achieve inspired goals. And one of the things that you have to be doing if you want to create your dream life and you want to achieve your goals, goals is to take care of yourself which is something that I'm doing today and what I want to share with you and I hope that it was useful for you. Until next video, I'm sending you a lot of love. Bye for now.